Friends, control valve is an important part of instrumentation. To regulate any parameter, control valves are used in almost all industries. In today's video, we are going to see interview questions related to control valve. Let's take the first question in process instrumentation. What are control valves? Why control valves are used? Control valve is made up of two words control plus valve, meaning a valve that controls the process is called control valve. Control valve is the final control element, friends. In process instrumentation, usually, pneumatic control valves are used. Pneumatic control valves are the valves which operate on pneumatic signals, means, on air signals. Such type pneumatic control valves are used in instrumentation. And, pneumatic signal is given to them from here. These control valves are operated pneumatically and control the processes. In process instrumentation, control valves control process variables or process parameters. Friends, process variables means pressure, temperature, flow, level, etc. Next question is which control valves are used to switch on or off the fluid flow? Friends, Sometimes, fluid flow is completely passed, or, completely stopped. So, to turn the fluid flow on, and, off. Ball valves, butterfly valves, and, gate valves are used. Friends, in a ball valve, the shape of the, ball, is, spherical. The design of ball valve is, in the form of a hollow sphere which has a hole, and, the flow can be controlled, by rotating the ball. When the valve is fully open, the fluid flow passes. And, when the valve is fully closed, the fluid flow stops. In butterfly valves, a disc is used, and, the fluid flow is switched on, and, off. Butterfly valves are also called, quarter turn valves. These valves rotate, 90 degrees, in gate valve. A gate is used to open and close the valve. Friends these on off valves are typically used in straight line flow systems and their operation is simple. They are fully opened in the open position or fully closed in the closed position. These valves usually have a pneumatic actuator attached to them. In this pneumatic actuator, you can see the position of the control valve. Whether it is open or closed. Friends, from here, to open and close the valve, pneumatic connections are made. And, here, above the actuator, you can see the position of the valve. By looking at the indication, you can easily identify whether the valve is open or closed. Let's move towards the next question. Which control valve is used for precise control in instrumentation? Friends, precise control in instrumentation means that you can control the parameters of a system very accurately and consistently. This is essential to the control system because in many industrial processes, variations of parameters such as temperature, pressure, flow rate or level can produce significant effects in the process. Friends, globe valves are used for precise control. And these valves are especially used in flow control applications. The design of globe valves makes them suitable for accurately regulating the flow rate. Globe valves design is like a globe shape. It has a plug that can move up and down and the parameters are controlled at a set point let's take the next question what factors should be considered while selecting a control valve for a specific application this question is very important please pay attention look friends some factors should be kept in mind while choosing the control valve 
such as process parameters, flow rate, pressure, temperature, and fluid specifications. Apart from this, required valve size, its type, and material compatibility with process fluid, and control valve characteristics like flow capacity, rangeability, and response time. Apart from these, operational requirements are also taken care of, such as fail safe features, maintenance requirements, and compatibility with existing control systems. Let's take the next question. How does the actuator of the control valve contribute to its performance? The actuator of the control valve positions the valve according to the control signal. This control signal is received from a controller. The actuator is used to adjust the position of the valve by converting the control signal, which is typically pneumatic or electrical, into mechanical motion. Actuator speed, precision, and reliability influences the valve's response time, accuracy, and overall performance to control process variables. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching.